Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, I think one last thing that we could say as I'll, uh, this is going to wrap up my Windows 10 at seven years series that I wanted to do um, is the big surprise of last year, which is kind of interesting. It all started out with the year 2021, January of 2021. Everybody was waiting and was hearing about Sun Valley. Sun Valley was, for a while, Windows 10 completely redesigned with a refreshing look to it. And we thought, well, you know, Windows 10 is a Windows as a service, and they are able to do that and change things around. So people were, I think, excited in a way that something big was coming to Windows 10. We were starting to see a wear and tear of the Insider program where after Donna Sarkar left, um, it seemed that Insiders were left alone and left with boring and still today boring rings of testing stuff that, that and, and when there's something new, because often there's nothing new. And... Um, that's where I think the Windows Insider program needs to be completely redesigned from what they want to do with it. And the excitement was, hey, we're going to be testing this new Sun Valley thing. This is going to come and maybe the Insider program is going to be fun again. And we started the year with big, big update to Windows 10. I can't wait. To the big, big surprise of an announcement and a leak and the announcement had this in its video, something coming to Windows. And then the speculation started. Look at that, it says, it's like 11 on the floor. Why isn't that, you know, a cross, like in the window? And people started, you know, speculating Windows 11 is coming. And Sun Valley was, you know, something interesting that we're, we're still kind of thinking that maybe it's Windows, you know, 10. Then we had the leak of an official Windows 11 built that was not supposed to be there. And people saw with kind of a shock at some point that Windows 11 was the new system coming. Um, the fact that Microsoft decided that Windows 10 X which you were working on, but it was just not going anywhere. You know, this is where it's interesting to see that Microsoft can and has built this thing called Windows, and we're in Windows 10 and 11, that works. But when they have to sit down and start from scratch into something new, it seems that it just can't work. There's no, I don't know what's happening inside Microsoft, but they just can't come up with something that works well. And that Windows 10 X was supposed to be that new thing that is going to be a different type of Windows for different types of devices. And it was an advertised a little bit as a uh, Windows that could work on, you know, low power devices, including, you know, foldable devices. And as we get this new logo where people are speculating Windows 11, we also learned that Windows 10 is being, um, you know, they're stopping development. They're, it's it's un, it's not going to work. We're not going to do Windows 10X anymore. But the ideas of Windows 10X came too. And they came to Windows 11. This is an actual screenshot of Windows 10X. And it's pretty amazing how it pretty much looks like Windows 11. So they finally just scrapped Windows 10X, decided, and and that is the, the worst part, it really seems to be that it was decided at the very last minute, let's put that skin on Windows 10 and change a few things around, settings app, so on. Let's push that to Windows 11. Let's have the Windows 11 operating system suddenly. So that came to be. 
Windows 11 was suddenly a thing. It started being tested and was released later in the year, 2021. What shocked a lot of people, I think, also with Windows 10 to 11, because there were multiple shocks in that year. Still, still big shock today. Is not only the shock of what Windows 11 is Sun Valley and Windows 10 is not going to have any of those changes now. Big surprise. But they kind of lied at the. Um, in June, when they actually showed us Windows 11, they kind of lied to us. They lied to us because in the demo and, and the first information we got was, oh yeah, Windows 10 users can move to Windows 11 for free. So that, for pretty much everybody, meant, oh, we're, everyone with Windows 10 is moving to Windows 11. Until the details came out and TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot and 8th generation or later CPU for Intel. Shock. It leaves behind a lot of systems that could run it very well and actually there's a lot of people that have you know removed the requirements and that run it and it runs well. There's Actually, when you look at how it runs well on those systems that are unsupported, you kind of wonder, there's no real reason to put that minimum requirement there. Um, that is, you know, still, I think, today, a shockwave going through. And people are still astonished at where we are with Windows now. And then we go to 2022, where, shock, we're learning that we're going to change the way Windows in the future is going to be. We're going to go back to a three-year schedule and a possible Windows 12 in 2024. Um, this is just incredible. It's, it's I think, a Microsoft that kind of lost its way a little bit and doesn't know where to go. And the worst part is it doesn't seem to listen to anyone. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and if you did like my little series on Windows 10 at 7 years, um, leave a little comment below saying you had a lot of fun watching it, because uh, you know there could be more of different other things like that that I could do little series. Uh, but I thought it would be fun to have a look back and go up to here where we're now going and looking to the future of Windows. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.